We're going to do an all data backup on this FANUC control. It's basically a zero IF plus control. And one of the first things we want to do is set our communication. So we're going to be using this USB stick. So we're going to want to go into offsets, the offset key. And we're at the handy page. You may have to hit the offset key a few times to see the handy page settings handy or you might have to do the page up and down to get to it. But this I.O. channel we want to set to a 17. So we would go down to it, highlight it with the uh, up and down arrow keys 17. We'd want to be in uh, MDI mode to actually do it and set that. Now you know 17 uh, enter over here on the keyboard. If we were using the card, so if we're using the memory card, we would have to set that communication I.O. channel to a four. But since we're using the USB, we're gonna stay with the 17 here. Now to get to the pages to do the all data backup, I just hit the system key here. We're looking at parameters right now. That's the one that came up by default. We're going to use the right hand arrow soft key here until the menu shows all I.O. Go to all I.O. Then we're going to go back to the right hand soft key and go until we see all data. Click on that. And we're ready to go. The thing you want to watch out for is you may not have this all data key so you would have to talk to your machine tool builder and they're going to have to set it so you can uh, get that to be active because it's sort of an option so something has to be turned on inside the machine and the machine parameters to get that to show up you may have an engineer at your facility to do it but this may not be there, just keep that in mind if it's not turned on in the system. This one is, so we're in all data right now. It's telling us it's looking at the USB. We're gonna to go to OPRT, soft key, and we're gonna do a quick format. I like to do that, I like to have a completely empty uh, USB stick, but make sure whatever's on that stick you don't need. Because once you do a format, it's going to wipe out everything that you have on the stick. All right, it's telling me to change to edit mode, so I just change to edit. I'm going to go back to quick format. And I'm going to execute. So it's formatting. Might take a few seconds, so I'll pause here. Our format is complete. So once that's done, we're going to go into file output soft key here and this operation needs power off so once it does a backup you're going to have to cycle power because when it wakes up again it's going to back up the SRAM and what it's telling you also here is and the same name file is overwritten so if you already have an SRAM on that USB stick and you didn't do a format, the SRAM is on there, it will overwrite the SRAM file that is on this stick if you have one on there. So just keep that in mind. If you want the SRAM that's on here, you didn't do a format, keep that in mind because it will overwrite. So I hit execute. And we're going to get a, uh, a bar here that's backing things up. And once that bar is fully finished, it's going to ask us to reboot the machine. So I'll pause it while we're waiting. All set. That part of the backup is done. That uh, bar filled up. So now it's telling us power must be off. So we have to cycle the power to save uh, the SRAM next. So on this machine, I have to e-stop it. Now I'm going to go over here, I'm going to turn the control off. Good to wait a few seconds. Turn it back on. And when it comes back to life, we'll see the uh, SRAM is going to be backing up. So I'll pause it here. 
All right, it's showing us it's doing the SRAM data backup now. So it's gonna work on that for a little while and then uh, the control will boot up as usual. So we'll pause it while we're waiting. We're all done. So we got our backup. Nice thing about the all data again is you have everything out of this control that you would ever need. So if you had a complete control failure on your machine, someone had to replace this control, you're completely backed up. You would, uh, and of course, you know, it's good to also keep them up to date. So if you have a failure of the system and uh, major components are replaced in the control or the entire control, you'll be right up and running once you've restored everything. So ho hopefully this video will be helpful for you, and we'll see you next time on another video. Thanks for watching.